Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to give you guys some last minute information about the uh, January 20th gun rights rally uh, in Virginia. Okay, um, first, I want, first thing I want to talk about is parking. I did mention it in the in a previous video, but I wanted to make it a headline item in this video. Uh, the VCDL, which is the organization that has organized this event, uh, and that stands for uh, Virginia Citizens Defense League, uh, they are providing parking for us at the Diamond Baseball Park, okay? Um, and they will also be providing a shuttle for us to get us from the, from the Diamond Baseball Park to the uh, Capitol grounds. Um, the address for the uh, Diamond Baseball Park, uh, which I'm also going to put in the description so you can copy and paste it, but in case you're driving um, and, you, and you're just hearing this, the address is 3001 North Arthur uh, Ash Boulevard, Richmond, Virginia, uh, zip code 23230. Okay, so, so that's where we're gonna, where we're going to be parking, the uh, Diamond Baseball Park. And the, um, the VCDL is going to pro be providing a shuttle, shuttle buses for us uh, from the baseball park to the Capitol grounds. It's a 45 minute walk, so I recommend that you can you get on those shuttles if, uh, um, you know, if you can get on them. Um, if you do end up having to walk, you know, travel in groups, uh, preferably with, you know, people in those groups that are armed. Um, now, as far as what the VCDL wants from us, uh, they want us there by 10 a.m., okay, uh, preferably before 10 a.m. because uh, uh, they want to get at least 10,000 people inside the fenced area. Um, those 10,000 people are not going to be armed, okay, they, you know, they're, they're going to have to go through a security checkpoint. Um, and they're basically asking that, that, we, that, that you know, 10,000 people, um, you know, volunteer to take that risk and go in unarmed. Uh, they're recommending that, you know, you travel to the event, you know, with friends or family members that are armed that can escort you to the gate, um, you know, to, to the gate of the fenced area, and then you can, you can enter, okay? Um, so they need to get 10,000 people inside the fenced area um, who are unarmed, who are going to basically, uh, you know, be able to get, in, you know, you know going to be able to pass through the, the Capitol building, uh, and they want to get at least 10,000 people outside of the fenced area uh, who are armed, okay? Uh, those people are going to be providing security. Okay, so uh, now most likely it's going to, the numbers are going to be well above that. They're actually expecting about uh, 50,000. Uh, they haven't saying close to 100,000. We'll see. The more the better. Um, you know, we definitely want to make a big impression here. This is where it counts. Um, you know, numbers count here. Okay, so so you know you know this is where we you know basically it's worth taking the day off to get down there. Okay. Um, it's a six-hour drive for me. Uh, I'm going to be leaving the uh, the evening before, about something like you know 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and driving through the night, and I, I'll be there, you know, uh, you know, with plenty of time to spare. So, um, um, yeah. So that's what they want. They want they want us there before 10 a.m. Uh, they want 10,000 people to be willing to go inside the fenced area, unarmed, and they want everybody else outside of the fenced area providing security. Uh, another thing that I want to mention, and I did do a separate video on this, Antifa is uh, expected to be there. Um, they say that they're, that they're going there to support us, um, that to support uh, the Second Amendment. And, um, you know, my feeling on that is, uh, you know, just step back and give them some wide clearance, okay? Um, you know, historically, you know, armies have used, um, you know, Troops that were sometimes, uh, you know, where their loyalty was questionable. Um, you know, they've used mercenaries, and what they usually did is they put these uh, questionable troops in the front lines. Okay, um, that way, if 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 those troops turn traitor, well, now they end up being sandwiched uh, between two armies. So, you know, so that's that's something to keep in mind. You know, I mean, I know a lot of you guys, you know, really don't like Antifa. You don't trust them. The, you know, I, I understand that. Uh, but I think for, for this particular event, I think we, uh, you know, I think we should take all the help that we can get, you know, numbers matter more than anything, you know, put them up front, um, you know, and, um, you know, and basically just watch them and keep your distance. Okay. So, so, you know, my feeling is that I, I'm inclined to give them and pretty much anybody the benefit of the doubt, uh, but at the same time, keep my eye on them. Okay. So, uh, you know, I mean, that, that's, that's my feelings on that. Uh, if you guys uh, have any anything you would like to add, please put it in the comment section. 
Um, and, you know, at this point, I look forward to seeing you guys down there on Monday. Um, and good luck to all of us. I'll see you soon.